CFRA's Tunal Moby and Morningstar's Dan Wasilek are both with us. Tunal, I'll start with you. Um, I mean, Trip and Expedia, you can think of any number of other uh, cases here. How do you go about trying to figure out what the impact is going to be? And are these earnings lost forever? Well, you know, it's funny uh, because um, some of the companies I've reported already, the cruise ships, you know, the hotels uh, and trip, um, Expedia reports after close tonight, we're getting a consistent theme here, which is that the overall impact, while it's unquantifiable at this point, uh, but it is starting to uh, have a toll. Um, you know, trip said, uh, you know, this morning that they uh, are seeing some negative impact. And while they're trying to downplay the uh, overall exposure to China, we know that a lot of these companies either directly have uh, fairly significant operations in China, or in the case of Trip, uh, a material joint venture uh, with Trip in China. So uh, net net, I think that um, the market at this point seems to be uh, underestimating uh, the overall impact of this, and that's why we've decided to uh, take a little bit more dire, you know, view. And I have to say also that um, overall, something unique about this. Uh, makes it a little bit different from Ebola or even the SARS uh, in terms of the speed and severity of the cases that we're seeing and also the death toll that you just alluded to. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you know, a World Mobile Congress gets canceled, for example, in Barcelona, by the way, generates enormous amounts of revenues for the economy there, not to mention all the travel related to it. A lot of business travel, as I understand it, perhaps being put on hold in certain cases, not to mention travel for pleasure as well, if it involves going to China or even uh, Asia. What are you seeing? What do you expect from here? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to handicap how long and to what extent uh, that this uh, virus crisis lasts. But, you know, going looking at TripAdvisor and Expedia, you know, we estimate that TripAdvisor probably garners about 10 percent of its revenue from the Asia Pacific region. Expedia, even less than that, we would put it at a high single digit rate. Uh, you know, what we've heard from some of the hotel operators in quantifying this is that if it were to last six months to a year, as far as, you know, it being contained and then a recovery period, the way to maybe think about it is for every 10 percent exposure that a company might have to an area where demand is really dropping off for travel, it could impact uh, the revenues for those companies, maybe a percentage uh, point and a half to two percentage points for each quarter that uh, there is a major meaningful impact. So, you know, TripAdvisor did have their call this morning. They were saying that, you know, thus far there is some slowing, there are some cancellations, some delays, but they feel that it's not material. Um, so, you know, it, we're, we're going to have to continue to monitor the situation.